Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A very good morning, uh, my dear listeners. Um, today I'll be reacting on this video uh, from one is one part network. Uh, the video is titled "No One Saw This Coming: Ramadan 2020 Lockdown." A short film. Uh, let's get into the video and try to see what we can basically uh, understand from it. Uh, that will waste so, so much time. time. The truth is, I never saw this coming. The Kingdom has temporarily suspended entry to those visiting to do the Umrah pilgrimage. And this, a first for British Muslims. 100,000 people have lost their jobs in just the last couple of days. Yet as much as I tried to brush it all aside, life just kept getting worse. And what makes it so scary is all this was happening on the doors of Ramadan. What was supposed to be the best month of the entire year. I mean the month where friends and family come together, yet now we can't even shake each other's hands. And what makes it so heartbreaking right now is the fact that the only place that ever gave me comfort has been taken away too. I've been here many times before I feel this pain but I cannot take no more I've been blinded by many love nights But when the times got up, all I heard was goodbye I mean all those nights at the masjid and the catch-ups with our friends after Yet now we can't even leave our own homes. Now is the time to turn the page. I'm owning up to my mistakes. I broke it. Hey. Um, Ramadan 2020, brothers and sisters. Um, I know it's not going to be that normal uh, Ramadan situation we have always experienced in our life. This is the first time is happening like this you know we have our most locked down for an unforeseeable future and um, now we can't even shake hands with our friends we can't even have those uh, prayers together the mass the most you know and even to make it worse a lot of brothers and sisters are losing their jobs in this critical moment which makes this Ramadan a little bit different, actually way different from what we have experienced before in whole, in entirely uh, the way it is coming to us, you know. You trust I am to blame. Like what are we supposed to do after breaking our fast? Just sit at home? Everything I ever knew about Ramadan is now over and I would do anything in the world to have it back like it was. take this anymore. This is the saddest Ramadan of my life. Now I call you, will you forgive me? So many times I turned away, but you're always there for me. I need your love, cause I'm breaking up, and I've had enough. I need you to fix me. You're the only one who keeps me strong You forgive my wrongs You never leave me But as much as it hurts, 
Maybe this Ramadan won't be so bad after all. I mean, I still have so much to be grateful for. And with the masjid now closed, maybe it's time I turn my home into a masjid. I mean, yes, things have changed, but maybe this is the Ramadan that I was waiting for. With no distractions, no missed opportunities, just me and Allah. And that's everything I need to make my Ramadan the best Ramadan of my life. I need your love, cause I'm breaking up, and I've had enough. I need you to fix me, you're the only Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On behalf of the team at One Path Network, we would love to wish you all a Ramadan Mubarak. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you would love to see more content just like this, please head over to our website at onepathnetwork.com and check out ways you can support, produce more content like this. Jazakallah khairan and thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, my dear listeners, uh, first things first, let us check out One Path Network and uh, support that channel. Uh, we support the channel uh, in whichever way we can. Make sure we always see such good contents uh, like the one we are seeing during this Ramadan. Um, on behalf of my channel, like uh, for me, I also want to wish my brothers and sisters uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Let us have a good one. I know the circumstances are, are not the same, you know. Some of us may feel like this is the worst Ramadan we are ever going to have. But as Muslims, we always, we always believe that everything happens for a reason, you know. You know? Allah has a, a wisdom in, in every situation that comes around. Uh, maybe this time around, Allah wants us to spend as much time as possible with our family, pray together with our family at home. You know, uh, try to, you know, get to enjoy that time with our family while uh, uh, going through our fast in this Ramadan. So let us not feel bad, or, uh, feel so much bad about the situation. Let us try to go with it as it is. And we pray to Allah that He increases on our risk during this Ramadan, on our sustenance during this Ramadan. We make sure that we are able to provide for our families and uh, go through this Ramadan in the best way uh, he wants us to, uh, to to go through it this Ramadan and we pray that may Allah accept from us all our good deeds and all our ibadahs during this Ramadan thank you for watching uh, give this video a like so, uh, share it with a friend comment on the, on the, on the video and uh, subscribe to my channel from me to you, assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.